Well, it's time for our next page in our altered art book. All right, so I was looking through some of different papers that I have to put on um, this new page. This was sent to me as part of the packaging um, from, I think it was one of the Flourish journals. I'm not sure, but it was through Happy Mail. I didn't make this myself. So I was looking at all the pretty colors of this. It's a paper bag. I have some uh, jelly prints that didn't work out, but they have some cool colors, and those would look good in the background. And this is also another jelly print. Um, you can use, uh, for this particular project, you can put anything you want on the pages because it's basically going to be the backdrop um, to what we're going to do to it. So, um, you can collage, you can use scrapbook paper, whatever you want to do. Um, but I wanted to see if I could use up some of my jelly prints. Here's another one that I did. Then also, um, I got some of those, um, the jelly print, those image transfer things that we were doing, or I was doing, and a whole bunch of other people <laughs> were doing. Um, some came out, some did not. This was one of the ones that I printed from, and I got one of these. I also got another one that I decided to um, cut and use in this particular project. And um, these were the colors that these came out, and I cut them out. All right. So what we're going to do is I have these um, color um, paint chips, basically is what they are. And for a totally different project, I had sewn these together, and they created like a little pocket. So I thought, well, how can I use these? Because most of you either have scrapbook paper uh, or something that you can use packaging, something that you can create a little pocket with. You don't have to sew it. You can glue them. And obviously, you know, you're going to make adjustments to the size of your book page so that they fit. It just happened that these fit perfectly for this purpose. And then what I'm going to do is, um, well first of all, uh, we're going to cover up our our pages and as usual I already went ahead and glued three pages together to give us a good foundation. So you want to be sure that you do that. And then look for again your background paper that you want to use on your page. Um, whatever you have. You can even just paint it if you want to do and stamp it. You know, whatever you want to do. Put some kind of background on there. And then find something that you want to use uh, to make your need two of these. And then I found in my stash of tags that I save, I found these two and they're very substantial. So I'm going to use, uh, I should say packaging, not tags. They're packaging that I'm going to use as tags. And those fit in there quite nicely. So you, if you have to use, you know, if you save your packaging, see if you can find something that you can put in there. If not, then you just, you know, you, you can make your own tag. But right now we're going to focus on the structure of this and the tags really are incidental to the full project. All right, so get whatever it is you want to put on the background. I'm, I'm not sure which, what I want to use. I might, I just, I want to go for a lot of contrasting color. So maybe this is what I'll end up. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know. Maybe this, because it's totally off the wall. I think I'm going to use this. <laughs> I think I'm going to use this. Okay, 
find your background and get busy working on gluing down your background. Okay, so I glued this down and I like the way it looks. I got a little ahead of myself. I thought I was filming and I wasn't. <laughs> so what I did with these chips is I had this um, stamp and I thought, well, it's trees. These are trees. And I just went for it. There's a connection somewhere. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> but uh, that's what these pages are all about. They're kind of organic. You're not really going in any particular direction. But um, um, we'll see where it ends up going. All right. So I know for sure i got girls, spooky girls, and trees. And then I was looking at some of my tissue paper. And I have these tissue papers that have... Um, these frames and I thought it might be kind of cool to frame the trees out. I don't know how that'll work out but we're going to find out together. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to tear, tear these out and maybe I'll even tear some of that out. I should have wet that first, but oh well. It's a lot easier if you wet it. And we'll see how that looks. Because I think what I'm going to do What do you think? Oh. Now I'm not sure, because I think I'm going to put this on this side of the page, or, hold on, see, I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. I think I'll put those there, and I'm just going to put this down and not overthink it. I'm just going to do it and see what happens. Because if you don't like what you do, you've got this thing called paint and paper. <laughs> you can just go right over it and cover up anything you don't like. Because when you're all finished, no one knows what you had in mind. How could they? Because we don't even know what we have in mind. So... Don't let what you perceive as mistakes hold you back. Because usually the best stuff happens when you think you made a mistake. Okay. I like it. Uh-oh, I hear my poor doggy crying. Hold on. Okay, that was Junior. He's a elderly Rottweiler. <laughs> and he was outside my studio crying. My husband's not home and he wanted to go in the house. He thought it was too hot. <laughs> so I had to let him in, poor thing. All right. Now... I have this round one. Let's see what I do with that. I think I'll put that up in the corner. See if it can simulate either the sun or the moon. I'm not sure which way I'm going. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Sun or moon? Don't know. But it'll work. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And then all I have to do is figure out if it's going to be the center of the moon and fix that up. Alrighty. Now, we're going to, well, first of all, I think I need to glue down, let's let this dry, and I need to glue down my ladies and determine which way I want those to go and what color. Um, let's see. I had decided, but then I forgot what I had decided. Well, I don't want blue on blue, so that won't go with there. Now I would put a little bit of Mod Podge over this, but after I finish, because I'm not sure what else I'm going to do on here as far as outlining or sketching or whatever. So I'll do that last. Now. Now this side is going to be glued down here. And then I'm going to put some kind of a little hinge on here. Now the hinge that you can do can be paper, it can be fabric, it can be washi tape, it can be pretty much anything you want it to be. I'm, um, I have so many little scraps from journals I've been working on as far as fabric is concerned, so I think I'm going to do mine with some fabric. And all I'm going to do, let me get my super duper glue, where is my glue? As you can tell, I'm real prepared here. Oh, here it is. No, that's not what I want. Hold on. Okay, I found it. It was in the other room. So, what color do I want? Now what you could do is you could put a little bit of glue and put it on either side and that would be a hinge like this. Or you could put it behind and create a hinge that way. It's whatever your preference is. But I think, because when I open it, hold on. Because when you open the book, you're gonna see that. So maybe I do want some fabric in the back. Ooh, purple. like that. Okay, so this is what we'll do. Here's the plan. We'll get some of the glue. Right there and
piece in the bottom. Whoops. Well, that glue's anxious to come out. Make sure you get the right one. I need to trim that a little bit. I like the fabric showing, uh, the hinge showing, so no matter what you put, you can stop it obviously underneath whatever image you're using if you don't want it seen, but I like all the stuff showing. So that is her hinge like that. So she's all ready to go. Now we need to see what we want to put on these pictures to spice them up. And I think they need some flowers. If there's trees, they need flowers. But before I do that, I think I'm going to outline some of these because let me get my pen. You know, I just have a, it's a permanent marker. And I'm just going to highlight her a little bit. Define, define her. And it's kind of a sketchy look that she has anyway, so. I'm going to take out that darkness. I don't like the white there. So I'm just going to put in this paint. It's kind of translucent, so it'll let all the other colors come through. This is um, Color Shift by Folk Art. I like working with it when I want things to um, be translucent. I like how it works. They have several colors. Just I came upon them one day when they were discounted. And I got them super, super cheap. They had several colors, so 
And then once I got them, I go, hey, I like these. And just like it says color shift, depending which way you put them, you know, you see different colors. So I like that. I'm going to let that dry a little bit and I'm going to go look for some flowers for our otherwise kind of scary looking girls. Well the more I looked at this the more I decided I didn't want to put flowers because um, the trees I put back there are kind of spooky. They're kind of spooky and so I thought I'd go with the spooky and so I thought that instead of putting flowers in their hair. I think they're the type that probably have a bug collection. So I got two of my bugs and <laughs> you know I love my bugs. So I think these are going to be like buggy girls. Yeah. And um, I decided to use my charcoal pencil to outline them. I know a lot of people don't like to use the charcoal because it's um, well it's it's messy <laughs> uh, but um, I don't know these girls seem to be calling out for something kind of messy so that's what I'm doing Okay, now, I like to work with my um, pastels, and again, a lot of people don't like to work with them because they, you know, they're messy, and that's all true, but I still like to bring it out every once in a while, just to... highlight a little bit. So I figure she's got sunset here somewhere because she looks like a dark girl. <laughs> she likes the dark. So I gotta give her a little bit of a sunset here. And then what I do afterwards is I just, I have a fixative and I just, you know, like a top coat and then it doesn't rub all over the place. Or you could use, you know, stuff like hair, cheap hairspray. A lot of people use that too. Whatever you have, I do not 
say go buy anything. Use what you have. Okay, what color of hair would she have? <laughs> uh, would it be dark again? I don't know. I think she's got, well, she's already got some pink in her hair over here. Maybe we should give her a little rose colored. she needs it already looks like she has a bug there Maybe we should just really give her one. Oh yes, she is the bug lady. <laughs> See, talk about not knowing where your art's gonna go. <laughs> I went from putting a flower on her head. <laughs> oh, poor thing. And this girl likes to wear them as part of her design. As part of her dress. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, and I think the reason why you don't see all of her is I think that she doesn't fully, you know, buy into the bug scene. So she's kind of hiding, hoping her friends don't see her. So she's going to be bugless because I think she's trying to get away from that. So I want to help her in any way that I can. Um, let's see. And, okay. While I was filming, my husband brought me my mail, and I received these beautiful, beautiful stamps. I had done a little private swap with uh, Audrey. Audrey? Yes, I think it was Audrey. Oh, no, I forget. I don't have the... Anyway, yes. I think that was... Oh, I hope I don't say her name wrong. Oh, well, she knows who she is. But, look at all these gorgeous stamps. So I was thinking, because she's trying to get away from the bug scene, I think I'm going to give her a pretty stamp. See, all these trees here are... You know, it looks like winter. They don't have any, hardly any leaves or anything. They're kind of spooky. But this tree has leaves. And she's the optimistic one in the group. So I think I'm going to give her the leaves instead of the bugs. <laughs> I'm just trying to help you see how my mind works. And yes, it's a scary thing. So, I don't 
I want to cover up all the birds because birds are optimistic. So you can peekaboo the tree. I like that. Okay. Very good. Got my fingers all dirty. Okay. See? It looks better already. I like that. Okay. So. We got her getting away from the group, which is good. And see, oh, see, she is the one that has the vision through, let's call this a window. It's a picture frame, but let's call it a window. And she can see out and see the trees. These girls, all they see are bugs. So I guess we have to decide in life, you know, do all we see are dead trees and bugs? Not that there's anything wrong with bugs. I'm a fan of bugs. But, they look kind of depressed. Her, on the other hand, no bugs, trees with leaves, and she can see out and see the other trees. She can see the forest. See, okay, okay, let's go with that. <laughs> so, if she can see the forest, then we need to get, that needs to be a sun, because that's optimistic too. I need to go get some paint. Okay, what is this called? I don't know the name. I just got it because it was a dollar. <laughs> it was a good price. Oh! Can't get it all off. But it's called Moon Yellow. Now how would I know that with a tag on it? But how apropos. Okay, so I want it to be a sun, but it's moon yellow. So even though, okay, I see, I get it. You're coming out of the dark, which used to be the moon. And when you're coming out of the dark of the moon, then you get the moon yellow because you're coming out of the dark. Yep, see, she's optimistic. She's bringing the yellow to the moon. Okay. I may or may not put another coat on that. Probably. I'll come back to that later. All right, so where are we? We got her taken care of so far. Let me emphasize her positivity. do we need? I know there's other stuff I can do. I just can't think right now. I think this is one of those pieces where I have to leave it alone for a, few, for a little while and then come back. So I think that's what I'm going to do right now. And wait for some inspiration. Alright, I'll be back.